All right, so I want to go through another uh, velocity diagram uh, example. So this one is slightly different. So we'll see here, it says here that we have um, the blades of a two-stage uh, velocity compounded impulse gas turbine has an average diameter of 970 millimeters. Okay, so that's the diameter of the of the of the turbine and it rotates at 3131 revolutions per minute okay so that's our rpm uh, and then we have here it says here the velocity of flow at the inlet of the first stage is 225 meters per second now previously we haven't had an example like this where they gave us the velocity of flow in in the problem so that there uh that 225 meters per second that is the vf1 okay so that's of the um of the first stage and then they give us the velocity of flow at the inlet of the second stage at 100 meters per second so um that is our 2 vf1 all right uh, then it says here the outlet angle of the first row of moving blades is 25 degrees and the outlet angle of the second row of moving blades is 28 degrees so the outlet angle for the first row the 25 degrees that's the phi phi and uh, the outlet for the second row is phi one all right uh, then it says the gas leaves the turbine at an angle of 80 degrees okay so that 80 degrees that is our beta one okay of the second row beta one then it says there is a 4% loss um, in, of velocity across all blades due to friction. So, um, yeah, whenever it moves over one blade, it's going to be um, 0, 0,96%. Um, uh, of what it of what it was before. All right. And then it says here that um, the velocity diagram for the turbine in the answer book. Um, so constructed using a scale of one millimeter equals five meters per second. Okay, so let's just go through the construction of of this now. All right. So first of all, like we said previously, we have to find out what is the velocity of the of the moving blade. Okay. So what is our u? So u is pi d n over sixty. So they gave us the diameter in the question, which was 900 and, um, let's see here, 971, I think that is. Sorry, 976 millimeters, okay? So 976 millimeters. Uh, then we times that by um, the RPM, which was 3,131, and we divide that by 60, and then we get... Um, 160 meters per second. Okay, so that's our U. Okay, so that's our U uh, of the of the moving blade. And we know for that's going to be the same for the first row and for the second row. Okay, so you got to take that 160 uh, meters per second, and you got to divide it by the scale of five meters per second, and then you'll get 32 millimeters. Okay, so we're going to construct U. Um, being 32 millimeters long for the first and the second row of moving blades all right then in this case we're gonna have to start at the second row of moving blades okay so we're gonna have to work towards the first row this time the reason being is because they didn't give us any lengths of um well then they didn't give us any lengths at all so um, what they did give us, so I'm going to show you first. They, they in the question here, they gave us the outlet angle of phi. So this is phi for the first row, and they gave us phi one for the second row. Okay, so the two outlet angles. Uh, then they gave us also the the angle that the gas leaves the turbine, and this was beta one. Okay, beta one. Now if you construct that so here i'm at my second row there's my 32 millimeters and the first angle there's phi one at 25 degrees i draw a line so i measure it 
with my um, my protractor. So I measure 25 degrees uh, there, 25 degrees, and I make a line, a construction line across. You can see that it goes further. I just draw a construction line down to 25 degrees. Then the next one was they gave us the angle that it leaves the turbine, okay, and that was 80 degrees. So again, I use my protractor and I, I measure off 80 degrees, and then I make a construction line down like that. Okay, and obviously where these two lines meet, um, that's going to be that's going to tell us how long the um, the relative velocity two and v two will be. Okay, so two v R2, I measure off then um, from that point to where the two join, 40 millimeters. And for 2v2, uh, I measure 19 millimeters. Okay, so that's very helpful. So now we have those two. Okay, so then we can start moving towards the top now. So we have the relative velocity here, which is 40 millimeters. Now, that's on the end of the moving blade, okay? So that's phi. Now, to get theta um, at the beginning of the moving blade, which is VR1, 2VR1, obviously, it's going to be moving faster than, than at, the, at the end of the blade because of friction. So how do we get 2VR1? So over here. 2VR1 equals 2 of 2VR2, two which is the 40 millimeters, divided by K, which is the, um, the coefficient of friction. So 40 divided by um, 0, 0.96, and that gives us 41,7 millimeters. Okay, so we got 41,7 millimeters, but now we don't know the angle. We don't know the angle that this line must be. We just know how long it must be. So what I do is I take my, my, my compass and I set it to to 41 um, millimeters and I put it on the end here and then I draw arc. See, see they have drawn the arc faintly there. All right. And so that helps us there. So anywhere along that arc is 41,7 millimeters. But now I don't know where I need to, where it needs to cut this line here. All right. So what I do is they told us in the question that the, over here, it says the velocity of flow, the velocity of flow at the inlet of the second stage is 100 meters per second. So that's 2VF1. So you can see here what I've done is I took my ruler, and if it's 100 uh, meters per second, we have to divide that 100 meters per second by, uh, by 5 meters per second. Okay, so 100 meters per second divided by 5 meters per second, and then we get 20 millimeters. So I measured on 20 millimeters here. And then I make a line across. And where those two cut, the arc for the 41,7 and the 20 um, down, where those two cut, that is where I'm going to um, draw my uh, 2VR1. So there is there, 2VR1, 2VR1. And then at that same point uh, from here where it cuts to over here, that is going to be my um, 2v1. See there? All right, and I can measure those two off. So um, let's see. 2vr1, I calculated that already. That's 41,7 millimeters. This one I can measure off here, and this is going to give me approximately uh, about 71 millimeters. 71, I got 71,4 previously, millimeters. And then we've constructed the second row of moving blades now. Now what I need to do next is I need to go from the second row to the top row. So obviously this velocity that's coming in here, 2v1, uh, two the 71,4, it has to first go through this, the, the, um, the, fixed, the row of fixed blades. So then it loses some of its velocity, loses 4%, and then we at um, to uh, V2, okay? So again, how do we get V2? V2, we're gonna say 2V1, which is the 71 comma four divided by 0 comma nine six, and we get 74 comma four. All right, 
So this line here will be 74,4 um, 74, millimeters, okay? Um, again, we don't know how, um, how, what the angle must be. We don't know beta one here. We don't know that angle, okay? So what we do is we take our compass again and we set it to um, 74,4 and we draw an arc, okay? So from that point there, we draw an arc and then we can, from that point, we can join um, to this point here, and we know the angle. Okay, so we we drew this previously. We draw we drew this line, which is our um, V R two, that gave us the angle of fire for the outlet as twenty five degrees, and we drew that line down like a construction line, and where it cuts the arc of this of V2, which is um, 74,4, that is the point where those two points join, all right? And again, we're gonna do like we did at the bottom here. Um, now we have to work out what VR1 is, okay? VR1, so um, the velocity before the, the start of the, at the start of the blade. So VR1 equals VR2 divided by K, so that's 100, so we measured here 102 millimeters. And obviously the relative velocity one must be more. So we divide it by the constant and we get 106 millimeters. Sorry, I apologize. Not the, um, the constant, but the coefficient of friction. So that's gonna be um, the relative velocity two, which is this one we measured. Uh, divide that by 0 0.96 which is gonna give you 106 millimeters for the relative velocity one, all right? And that's what you'd expect. Uh, it has to be moving faster because that's at the top of the, the blade, all right? So um, now we need to know, uh, over here now, we know the length, which is 106, but we don't know the angle, all right? But like we did at the bottom here, like we did at the bottom here, they gave us the velocity of flow, all right? So again, we're gonna do the same thing. So the velocity of flow in, in, in this case, it is um, 225 meters per second. And so we're gonna say uh, 225 divided by five meters per second and we get 45, all right? So uh, we're gonna measure over here now, 45 down, uh, there we go. And then we can make a line across and then we know that where the arc, so we have to make an arc that crosses this line now, and the arc length must be uh, 106 because it's the relative velocity one, all right? So we set our compass to 106 millimeters. Let me do that quickly. All right, there we go, more or less there. And we make a arc that cuts that line that we, that we ruled across the page. All right, so you can see it's a bit off there. So there it is, 106. And I have to extend this line a bit more now. There we go. All right, and then we are just going to join the two ends. So we go from there to there. And that should be our uh, relative velocity one, which is 106 millimeters. And this one here from this point to this point, that's gonna be our V1. And that measures to be, uh, let's see, uh, 138 or so, approximately 138. Yeah, let's just say that, 138 millimeters. All right, so that's how you're gonna construct the velocity diagram, all right? And then again, like always, they will ask you to convert all of these measurements into uh, into meters per second, and you simply do that by multiplying those all by the scale, which is five meters per second. And then remember, they can ask you how to, to calculate the power, they can ask you to calculate the um, the axial force, or they can ask you to calculate the, um, the, the, the will, all right? All right, so I hope that helps. Um...
yeah, so a little bit different. Remember this time they're giving us these two uh, velocity of flows. All right, 